Although this kitchen looks clean, it's crawling with millions of microscopic germs you can't see, smell, or taste. Harmful bacteria lurking throughout the kitchen, responsible for millions of cases of foodborne illnesses each year. Because a hygienic kitchen depends not only on clean counters and floors, but also on safe food handling practices. This spotless looking kitchen is actually crawling with dirty little secrets. Vance over here, guys. Oh, not now, Magoo, not now. Go back up here, pal. Let's get these groceries in here fast, guys, to keep them safe. Hey, do me a favor, guys. Put those groceries away real fast for Mommy while I get the phone. Opportunities to keep your food safe occur again and again, particularly when you shop, store, prepare, cook, and clean. When grocery shopping, buy cold foods last and get them home fast. Avoid overcrowding. Cool air must circulate to keep food safe. Hold on, hold on. Let's see what they've done here. Oh my gosh, I don't believe, what have you guys done? Look at this mess, I have to go help, are you kidding? Bye. What have you got, who put toilet tissue in here? Who did this? What, which one of you did that? You did that, I love you guys. Refrigerate perishables such as meat, fish, poultry, dairy and egg products immediately. First let's get rid of the old stuff like this, this is so Store leftovers in dated airtight containers. Spoiled and contaminated food may or may not look, smell, or taste bad. If in doubt, toss it out. Come on back, because I've got to show you this. Which one of you guys put the eggs in here sideways? Check eggs before refrigerating, discarding those with cracks. Oh, get out of here, my Clean spills promptly and wash your hands after contact with pets. And also, always keep your meats down at the bottom. You see this meat here? Put it in the bottom so that when, if it drips, it'll fall at the bottom of the refrigerator and not on your fresh fruits and vegetables. And always keep your fresh fruits and vegetables down here, okay? And then in a safe bin. Apples and that kind of thing, they all go in a nice safe bin up at the top, okay? You know what to do, right? <laughs> you may eat them, but first wash your hands, warm water, wash the fruits, okay? All right, look at this, freezers. Meat on top of the ice, you should... Wrap frozen it. foods tightly to prevent loss of quality. And keep food off ice trays. To prevent bacterial growth, set your refrigerator temperature at 41 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep foods as cold as possible without freezing. Don't let your food make you sick. How you guys doing, okay? Yeah. Thaw foods in the refrigerator, cold water or microwave. Would you please, would you please go over and um, put the potatoes away from me and the onions in the pantry in a nice dry place? And store items like potatoes and onions in a cool, dry place. Do not repeat. Do not store any food directly on the floor. Hey, what are you guys doing playing with this can? You guys shouldn't be playing with this can. Come on over here and help me put these cans away. Let me show you how to do this. Store older cans in front. New cans in the back. But after we get the yogurt out of here, who put yogurt in here? And refrigerate Let's any perishables made with eggs or dairy products. Let's get these cans. Hey, this can is dented. Let's get Discard here. dented, like swollen, or leaking cans. Thanks, guys. Everybody out. Yes! This kitchen looks clean, doesn't it? Look at it now. It's crawling with germs. These neon spots are harmful bacteria spread by contact with contaminated hands, utensils, and work surfaces. 
to prevent bacterial contamination. Clean up your act. Wash hands, utensils, and cutting surfaces thoroughly between jobs, especially when handling raw foods. Keep garbage in a covered trash container and empty daily. Wash fruits and vegetables thoroughly in running water. Clean up as you go. Dirty sinks and drains invite unwanted guests, so keep them clean and clear. Load dishes, including cooking and cleaning utensils, in the dishwasher. Non-porous plastic or acrylic cutting boards, unlike wood ones where bacteria can hide in the grain, are easier to clean and sanitize. Washing with hot soapy water is usually sufficient to protect against foodborne bacteria. For added protection, use a sanitizing solution of one teaspoon liquid bleach to one quart of warm water. That's one teaspoon liquid bleach to one quart of warm water. And keep cleaning products away from food products. If you use sponges or dishcloths, make sure they're clean. These items act as carriers, spreading germs. So wash them often and replace every few weeks. Cook foods thoroughly to kill bacteria. These microscopic hitchhikers reside in as well as on food. To be safe, always use a meat thermometer. Refrigerate promptly. If left unrefrigerated more than two hours, even cooked food can become unsafe. Divide food into small, shallow containers for safe, quick cooling and storage. Remember, keep hot foods hot and cold foods cold. Okay, kids, come and get it. Yeah! You can wipe out contamination by following these simple food safety rules. Don't wait, refrigerate. Store perishables immediately and keep raw and cooked foods apart. Keep it clean. Wash working surfaces, utensils, and hands after touching raw meat, fish, and poultry. Cook it well. Keep hot foods hot, above 140 degrees Fahrenheit, and cold foods cold, below 41 degrees Fahrenheit. When in doubt, throw it out. Contaminated food may or may not look, smell, or taste bad. Stop food poisoning before it stops you.